Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube website, How to Do Stuff. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Kobo, in this case, the Kobo Glow. Uh, I've been asked a few times about why it's difficult to set this up. It's not extremely difficult, but it is somewhat difficult, uh, particularly if you're not that techy inclined. Um, now, as it happens, my mother was given a Kobo reader for Christmas, and she asked me for some help setting it up, and um, there were some difficulties. So we're going to try and cruise through the bumps and make it a smooth transition for you with your new Kobo, or Kobo Glow in specifically. Okay, when you first get your Kobo out of the box and unwrap it, There'll be a picture of your Kobo getting plugged into a computer. Um, I've already touched that screen, so but basically this is the second screen in the process, um, and it begins by asking you your language. So we're going to start with English, and then it asks you if you want to do the computer setup or the wireless setup. Well, we'll start with the computer setup and see how that goes, because that's what most people are probably going to do. And now it asks us to connect the e-reader, so we'll do that. All right, then we've got our computer graphic asking us to connect to the computer. So I've got uh, one end plugged in, and I'll plug the other into the computer now. And now we get to the screen which asks us to go to the Kobo website which is called kobosetup.com. So now let's go and do that. Okay, so we've opened a web browser and we're going to go to Kobo Setup here and begin the process. Now we're at this screen where they want us to download it. If you're on a Mac, this will say download for Mac. I'm on a PC, so we'll just go ahead. and we can see the Kobo downloading in the corner here. So we'll just wait for that to finish and then we'll execute it and we'll be on our way. Okie dokie, now let's uh, run the Kobo setup just by double clicking on it. Okay, and now it's installing. And we're done. So now we can run the Kobo desktop. And here we go. Okay, so here we are. Uh, after we've installed the Kobo desktop software, we will present it with this get started screen. So we'll go ahead and click on the button. And here you're going to sign in. Now, if you haven't already created a Kobo identity, then you will click new and sign up here. If you already have one, then you will click in here, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, now irritatingly, my email address is linked to my Facebook, and I do not know how to unlink it. If you don't have a Facebook account, don't worry, you won't be reading this screen at all. Now it's looking for books, and um, anything that you may have purchased will also show up here, even if you did it on a different computer. Because of your login, all your data will be available to you from any computer that is connected to the internet. Now we're on this screen and I do not particularly want to share my reading habits with uh, my Facebook contacts, so I'm going to deselect that and then click Next. And uh, now it says that we're successful, so we will go Continue. 
and continue and then it just gives you a few tutorials and just sort of runs you through how to use the software. Now this part is kind of important because um, generally it's a good idea to use the computer to do a, a proper or a legal eject rather than simply unplugging it. So it's a good idea to use the symbol before unplugging your COBOL. And then finally uh, we're ready to go and look at the offers here. There we go. So we're ready. Now this is only if you want to buy books you would uh, go to your bookstore and pick a book that you want. Uh, you can search for books. Let's say Life of Pi. Let's try that one. And there we go. Life of Pi and it gives you a quick shot of the cover and the price and then when you go to buy it it will ask you for your credit card information and then once you've bought it it'll download and go straight into your Kobo now one thing that's important here is, is that this little symbol up here is the sync button and if it's in motion like that then we know that it's syncing uh, whatever you've purchased using this software and loading it into your Kobo reader. And when that little symbol stops moving here, and then we'll know that it's ready to eject and you will then be able to read your books. Okay, so I hope you found this video tutorial helpful in setting up your Kobo Glow or other Kobo device that you may have bought. And uh, I will have other videos on how to borrow books from the library on your Kobo, so stay tuned for that.